So um, now we will talk in detail about the Zigbee, Zigbee protocol. Uh, the Zigbee protocol is specifically designed for the IoT networks uh, and these are all the properties that I have already written and we will go one by one and discuss them in detail. We can make it a bit bigger so that it's, it's more clear. Um, wait a second. Sorry. So now it's better, it's bigger and it's clear. Uh, so about Zigbee. Zigbee is a communication protocol that is standardized by the IEEE 802.15.4 standard and it is commonly used for the wireless control and sensing networks. Now for example for controlling any appliances in your home or for home automation purposes or any industrial applications when you, you need to control uh, certain sensors or appliances and kind of manage communication between them then Zigbee is a very good option. Uh, its frequency range is is 2.4 gigahertz and uh, uh, you can kind of connect a maximum of 20, 24 nodes with a zip Zigbee um, using a Zigbee protocol. So this is this is these are this is also a range range of the range of the nodes or devices that you can connect to a particular um, uh, IoT protocol. So this is like 1024 for this is by devices I mean these smart devices and uh, this is the frequency range and then the range also contains distance as we have discussed before um, it can be uh, it can be used to communicate between devices uh, within a distance of 200 meters and uh, Zigbee is very uh, popular mostly for low power uh, devices uh, for example, you can see that a uh, normal Wi-Fi network uh, in our home, for example, a home a home uh, network in, in Wi-Fi for our home, home automation purpose or something can use up to a few uh, kilobytes of power, you know. And uh, on the other hand, Zigbee only use, uses less than 200 watts. Of power so Zigbee is is very good in terms of power consumption if you compare it with Wi-Fi so it's a very of course a very uh, naturally a very good solution for the home automation purposes for communicating between different appliances sensors for both industry and home applications so it is of course very economical because of all these things then Wi-Fi and uh, one more very important um, advantage of Zigbee is that it is a unified standard of data transfer so different devices can easily communicate with uh, with with each other so kind of you know because of this unified uh, unified nature of this protocol all devices in the protocol can interact easily um, furthermore uh, we can use Zigbee for uh, very small, small size devices, small packet size devices. And Zigbee is uh, one very important thing that Zigbee, Zigbee has no frequency hopping capability. So if we want to design any system which is using uh, Zigbee, it should be very carefully designed, carefully designed, and it should be made for sure that there is no uh, no interference uh, from the from some neighboring signals or something or the or the signals in the in the in the vicinity. It was actually uh, developed in 2002 uh, by a group of uh, 16 companies, uh, and so far it's been quite successful. Um, uh, among the companies that or, or, or the or the individual users that users that are kind of creating IoT um, uh, systems or ecosystems or IoT applications uh, for for home or industry applications um, so that is uh, that is a little bit of theory about Zigbee uh, now we will move to our next IoT protocol